So I just looked up how much a gin pole costs. What? I went to Lowe's, I already had that. I bought U-bolts, a pulley, wing nuts, and some rope. Now it's time to borrow Eddie's welder. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weld the pulley to the top. Now, I learned how to weld from Facebook. Not really, but I'm not a very good welder. Probably could have turned the power up on this thing to high and got a little bit of better penetration, but I think it's gonna work. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little extra support. Reinforcements being called in. It's a little spare steel I stole from an old grill. welding the base of it and then it wound up being crooked but it'll be alright. Ain't nobody gonna see it now. Now I'm welding through a hole to the pulley and the pole. And now I'm welding around the bolt that I put through to hold the top portion of the pulley. I'm just trying that bolt right off. I would have just used a nut, but I didn't have a bolt, so I figure, heck, I'll weld it. Now we're gonna weld the U-bolts on. There is a spacing that I used on these. I put one about three or four inches from the bottom, and then the next one I spaced just above the next level of rungs on the tower. It's on there. So here's the second U-bolt being welded in. And I use the floor to kind of keep them square. All right, now let's look at the finished product coming up now. Certainly not the best welds in the world. They're uh, pretty good for a kindergartner. But I've got two spots there, and really that's just to hold it in place anyways. The majority of the force is going to be this way. I am going to make some clamps. Uh, this will be a perm the permanent setup, but I'm going to make another set that I can just swivel up. And that way I can easily take it up to the top of the tower and then clamp it back down, clamp it, and do the work that needs to be done upstairs to raise the tower. But, you know... It works for throwing something together for a couple of dollars. I already had the EMT, one and a quarter EMT, which is pretty expensive by itself, but I already had it from another project. So once you tighten this down, it gets pretty close to the tower so that we can raise the other section up, but that'll stick up above the tower. And then you just pull the rope. We're just going backwards. But you just pull the rope and it just slides right across the pulley. And then when you want to lift something up, you tie it to it. And you just lift it up just like that. And this portion above here, seven feet is going to stick out above the top anyway. So where it's bumping against the tower right there, that's not going to be a problem because it's going to be sticking way above. But... The bird poo. The bird poo is what we got to deal with here. Lots of bird poo. But there it is. That's the DIY gin pole. And borrowing a friend's welder. Thank you, Eddie. KO4, November, Lova Lova. Alrighty, well, another video in the books for something that might be useful to you. Because a real gin pole is expansive. Follow all safety rules and precautions when climbing a tower. Make sure your equipment is de-energized or disconnected. And use the proper climbing gear. And always climb with a buddy. Maybe two buddies on the ground. Never know when you might need one to throw a screwdriver at you.